My name is Nancy Smith Hopp. I grew at Aurora College um, in multiple ways. Um, I think probably the most prominent and important one was confidence. Um, I was able to take courses that interested me. Um, I was able to find my way um, to a future um, and I had personal attention from nearly every faculty member I encountered who was, and they, each one was very encouraging, very helpful, very, very personal, and kept me going on a steady track. But at the graduate level, when I came back 22 years later in 1980, because Aurora University had established its master's program, and they were offering an MS in business management, there couldn't have been anybody more excited because that allowed me to work full-time, go to school full-time, and earn a degree that would allow me to advance in administrative ranks in both an education setting and later in healthcare. So I was a member of the charter graduate class in 1980, and in 1982 I was selected to give the commencement address it was an incredible honor for me because I was one of only three women in the first graduate class. Uh, there is no question that my salaries increased because of my graduate level education. Um, that's hard to put measure and put into words, but it was um, something that I definitely experienced. I would be remiss if I didn't mention probably the most influential faculty member for me when I was in undergraduate school. It was 1965, and the renowned artist Ruth Van Sickle Ford returned to Aurora and retired from the Chicago Academy of Fine Arts, and Aurora University asked her if she would come over and teach a painting class. I immediately signed up for that. It was on the third floor of Eckerd Hall, and we had to truck, uh, truck up the stairs with our uh, watercolor pads and our paints and all our gear and listen to this very brusque, loud, boisterous woman tell us the techniques of painting. What was significant about that for me was that about 35 years later, when Ruth was inducted into the Fox Valley Arts Fine um, Hall of Fame, and I think at that point she'd had an um, honorary doctor of fine arts from Aurora University, I decided to write a book about her. And I have to say that the stimulus that she gave to me in that class, the insights into her personality and her great teaching style and her great art was certainly the foundation for that book. It was just published earlier this year and um, I'm very, very proud to have known Ruth Ford. Um, one of the paintings in the book, there's several from Aurora University, but the title page is a beautiful oil still life that can be seen in President Sherrick's office. Aurora University has a very, very bright future if they continue the traditions that they've started and maintained for decades, and that would be the personnel aspect of teaching, reaching each individual student, customizing programs and curriculum for them. Um, their outreach into the community is significant. The Arts and Ideas program is one of the most innovative and community enhancing that I can imagine because they have the facilities and that in turn generates some of the most positive PR that the university could ever hope for. For. Um, I hope they don't get too big. Um, I hope they don't get rigid. And I would hope that they will always be here to support the students that come to them. Um, I know so many that have gone on to lead incredibly successful lives and bring great pride to Aurora and to their families.